What is good guys, it's Ray J back with another video and in this one I want to break down what's going on with Tesla stock, what's going on with SPY, video that QQQ and a couple of other tickers. But let me first say that I am not a financial planner so take nothing I say as financial advice and also if you guys can please check out the Weeble link which is down below and in the description. If you sign up for Weeble and deposit $500 in the account, you're guaranteed 20 free stocks. If you deposit $25,000 or more, you're guaranteed 75 of them and the offer ends very very soon in just a couple of weeks. Now, I want to break down what's happening with the markets and talk about what's going on. So for Tesla, so this very, very nice push as we predicted. I was talking about 177.6 to be tested. We went all the way up to almost 180, and I told you if we broke, we could approach that. So this is where our target was when we reached it on Tesla. But now Tesla is turning because the whole market is turning as well in anticipation of CPI. CPI comes out tomorrow. Okay, and the market is dipping so far. Could it be that we're about to get a hot CPI? Could that be the reason? I don't know for sure, guys, but that is one theory. Now, right now, the market is not really in the best of places, and this is causing Tesla to kind of reject right here. So Tesla has resistance at 177. We have support at 175. If we lose 175, we're going to dip even lower. As of right now, Tesla is going to likely shuffle in this range, but I just want to call out that the overall market is the reason why Tesla is performing like this. Because when you look at SPY, this thing formed a double top. We were trying to hold above 520. I told you if we lost this watch, 518. If we lost that, we turned bearish. And if we held 520, we could have turned bullish for 522 for the imbalance bill. We were looking like we we're going to push a little bit. And then we did get the push. But intraday, we got this big rejection, losing support. And now we're sinking to about 515. So, <coughs> excuse me, as we lost 516.5, we have 515. If we lose this, if Spike fails to uh, kind of get bought up here and get defended at 515, you're going to be watching 514 followed by 512.5. Overall, Spy is looking a lot more bearish. Uh, for resistance, watch 515 and 516.5. But as of right now, I am anticipating more downside. We could be sinking all the way down to 512.5 by tomorrow. So just be very, very careful. On the QQQ, it's the same thing essentially. We're barely holding 438, and we have potential to come all the way down towards the 435 area if we end up continuing to sink. We have resistance at 440 and also 438 now as we're starting to lose this. The chart is looking a bit more bearish. For Apple, we tried to push for 170, got a big rejection off that, and now we're coming back down. We're barely around our 20 EMA at 168.74. If we lose this, watch 168 as we're looking more bearish. NVIDIA is following the same trend. It got a big rejection on NVIDIA. We had basically resistance at 877. I was looking for a little pop here. I said, if you broke this, look for a push. If you reject it, it's going to be coming down to at least 862. Instead, we lost this. My next level would have been like 844, followed by 834. And if we lose 834, our next round is going to be all the way down to about 825. We could see NVIDIA see a big rejection all the way down to these lower levels. So NVIDIA is looking pretty weak right now. I also want to call out the fact that we had this big head and shoulders. And I've been saying this for a while. If you guys were listening to what I was saying about NVIDIA, this big head and shoulders, bearish looking structure, the chart looked bearish, and this is what ended up playing out. So, so far, NVIDIA is continuing to play out as we predicted. For a few others out there, Supermicro got a big rejection. I called out how if we lost 900, watch 880. That's where we're heading towards. Then we also have lower levels such as... Uh, there's 880 and then 850. I'm uh, sorry, 860 below that. So just be careful. Uh, we also have AMD showing weakness. So it's trying to bounce a bit. It got a big rejection. We're now heading down towards our support at 165. Looking kind of weak as well. Meta is following the trend. Testing the 200 EMA. We're at support at 507. If we lose this, watch for a push all the way down to 505 and 500. But watch 507 as support. We'll see if it holds or not. For resistance, we have about 511. So we'll just have to be a little bit patient. Amazon is looking kind of bearish as well. Uh, we have our supports being approached right over here at our 50 EMA. This is very close to about 184.7. If we lose this, a bigger drop could be coming all the way down to about 182. So we're approaching uh, support and we'll see how things go. With that being said, guys, the market is turning a bit. This is dragging Tesla down a bit. Watch 175 is key support. Tesla is rejecting just a bit. So please be careful. The market is dictating Tesla right now. So be very, very mindful of that. All right, guys, that's your super lightning fast update video. Thank you for listening. I'll see you guys in a couple of hours and peace out.